Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan. I'm editor of The Banker. We're talking about the World Payments Report 2014 and I'm joined by William Higgins, who's Managing Director of Payments for Royal Bank of Scotland, and Christoph Verney, who's leader of the Global Payments Centre of Excellence for Capgemini. Christoph, the time is now for innovation in payments processing. Why is that? Listen, as we've described in uh, last year's report, there is an increasing number of customer-facing innovation coming into the market the banks need to respond to. And uh, the, the time around for launching this innovation is so fast so that, that they cannot cope, no longer cope with uh, the current way they, they process transactions. They really need to, uh, to revisit that. Christoph, what are the implications for delaying this transformation? Uh, we are in a, banks are in a competitive market, so uh, not responding customer demand immediately or not responding in the way customers expect it to be delivered uh, puts their, their competitive position in danger. Uh, second thing is uh, responding to the demand with patches or with quick fix solutions increases the complexity and is only a short term view. So in the medium term, banks have no other uh, remedy uh, than uh, totally redesigning and simplifying their processing. Well, and what are the challenges for transforming payments processing and what approach should providers take now? The transformation is a large one. First and foremost, providers have to have the capability and the people. There will be a war on talent. Subject matter experts will be required will need to build the capability as well as an industry. So for me, it is very much a people issue. Thereafter, we have to sort out our legacy systems and our infrastructure and make sure we keep pace with the regulation, which is demanding innovation in addition. People matter, results count.